It's hard to imagine anything living in the Vialu's caves. However, connected to the rapid structural changes and inhospitable conditions, there are microscopic life forms that live on sulfur instead of sunlight. They are microbes, colonies of fungi, blue-green algae and bacteria that excrete large quantities of sulfuric acid that also breaks down the limestone walls. The organisms are sticky and mud-like. To show how prolific and resilient they are, a team scraped the wall down to the limestone in this spot a year ago. The colony has blossomed at astonishing rates. They are also contributing to the constant metamorphosis of the cave structure. These are colonies of single-celled extremophilic bacteria, called snotites. They hang in caves and are similar to stalactites in form. They have the consistency of mucus, or snot. Snotites take in sulfur and produce a sulfuric acid liquid byproduct. The scientists have a measuring device that shows the acidity level of the droplets. Some have a pH of 0.9, a hundred times more acidic than car battery acid. As unusual as snotites might be, the team is uncovering other unique life forms as well. This is fabulous. It's intriguing. It's like nothing else I've ever worked on. Yeah. And they'll grab a small piece. Clinging to the side walls of underground springs are strange growths that are rubbery and gelatinous. They are biofilms that are also aptly named phlegm balls for obvious reasons. Let me see that. They are inserting a sterile glass slide into the spring to find out more about the evolution and natural history of the microbes. Earth and Mars have had a similar history, and it's conceivable that life on Mars could be similar to some of the life found in the cave. Life on Mars may have found a niche in underground shelters similar to the acid caves of Via Luz, where water, sulfur, and warmth could support these unusual living beings. <laughs> 